What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about five ways on how to increase in faith. Let's go. So this life that we live, today I want to talk about how to increase in faith as we see in this world and as we see what's going on in today's society. Some of us, maybe all of us, need faith more than ever. And sometimes... We don't go by faith and we don't pay attention to the blessings that we have in this world and the blessings that we have today we don't pay attention to them we pay attention to what's going on and what we don't have but what we need to increase on is faith and how to increase on faith is far much important to what we don't have we need faith in our daily lives to get through our problems and without faith, we will be set apart. So number one, placing the most high first in everything you do. Placing the most high first can increase faith. Because the most high asks of us to call on him when we need help. And with us having faith in the most high, we have faith in the most high knowing that the decisions that he wants to make for our lives it can work in our favor. Instead of us going in life, making our own decisions, doing our own things, and not following the Most High and placing Him first, we will be causing detriments to our own selves without us even knowing it. We cannot lean on our own understanding and the Most High places us in position to call on Him and ask Him in any situation that we're going through even in good times and bad times, because we know in this life, in this world, there's different seasons. You're gonna have a season where you're doing far much better, and then you're gonna be in another season where you're doing far much worse. So understand that placing the most high first in everything we do is important because we don't see this world for what it is. We don't see the seen and unseen we aren't paying attention. And when we place focus in the Most High, He can divert us from harmful things that we don't see in day-to-day -day basis. We may go outside to do something and may get injured, hurt, harmed, or even be inside your home and be injured, hurt, or harmed. And you don't see the signs of it. But that situation could have been far much worse. Or you could have potentially been harmed. But the Most High covered you and protected you from injury. So we have to understand that the Most High is there for us and there for all of us. Every day, every time we go through a situation, even in our good days and bad days, we call on Him and focus on Him first. Number two, unity. Unity is important. Unity amongst man is important. Understand that we're stronger together than being divided. Understand that when everyone is together and working in sync, things can get done. Nations can be built if we focus on it. Understand that when we have division amongst nations, we will not get far. We will be stuck. We will not develop in the right way. Oftentimes we think we can do it on our own and we don't need anybody and we feel as though that we're the ones that can get the job done and no one else matters. But in reality, everyone matters. The people around you matter. You matter. Understand that unity can cause growth. Things get completed faster in this world and completed better when people Unify to do those things. Pay attention to the structures that are being built. The business that are being built. The growth. Why? Because people unify and people join a team to help a like-minded goal get completed. If we are around like-minded individuals and people who want to complete goals, people who want to get things done... Unify with those people. Those people are there 
to help you with your vision and you're there to help them with their vision on what they see. So pay attention to the people you're around and know that unity is important in this world and in this life. And we cannot do things based upon our own understanding and by ourselves. Number three, practice what you preach. You can't preach something and not practice it. That's the most important thing. Because if you preach something and you stand by those morals, principles, and guidelines, you have to practice it. You can't tell somebody to change their life, change their situation, and change what they want to do. And you're not practicing what you're saying. Sometimes people give advice on things that they don't even do in their own personal lives. Understand that if you're giving advice and if you're showing somebody the way, know that you have to live by that way. You cannot give advice to somebody and you are living in a different way than the advice that you're giving. Especially if you're trying to lead people who are lost and are trying to understand the faith and understand the truth. You have to be living by that truth. You have to be living before you can give advice to somebody else on what they should do in their own personal lives. It would be a false prophet if you teach people ways that you aren't doing yourself. Understand that whatever you do in this life it has consequences. And if you're leading people in a direction that you're not often going in yourself, you're doing a disservice to people, you're doing a disservice to individuals who are seeking the truth and trying to gain knowledge and understand what you're teaching them. Understand that you cannot be living worldly and want to preach righteousness. You have to be all the way in and you have to understand the consequences that can happen to you if you're living a different life than what you preach. Understand that if you're teaching somebody in order for you to teach that person the right way in the right direction, you have to be living in that way. And you cannot teach people if you are not living what you teach people. Understand that you have to practice what you preach and know that, yes, we all have issues. We all have situations. We all have problems that we need to work on. But it's far much more important that you work on those problems, those situations, those issues before you advise somebody else of their own problems, their issues, their situations. And before you teach somebody the right way to walk in this life. Number four, stay active. Like I said earlier, exercise, take time for yourself, rest, refuel your mind, body, soul, spirit. Understand that taking time to stay active and taking time to just do things out of your comfort zone that help your body and increase your mind, soul, body, and spirit can help you tremendously. Knowing that once you take the time for yourself to stay active, it can increase faith. Sometimes when you don't take the time to stay active and sometimes when you don't focus on staying active and putting yourself out there, you can get in a state of stress and depression. And, and for most, if you aren't focusing on what matters and what counts with your body and what your body tells you, you can be in a place of disposition where you lose focus and not understand the extent of what your body and yourself is worth. Understand that we can only understand what our body does and we have to focus on what our body tells us and know that we have these bodies that we need to take care of early so when you get far much older your body is still in the right state where you can move forward and elevate with it. In order for you to have more faith, you have to focus on your body, focus on how you can build your body, nutrients, vitamins, the foods you eat, what you do, your daily exercise, and cleansing yourself around the energy that you place yourself around, understanding and identifying the energy that you're around and how to rid yourself from an energy that is not positive and just placing yourself around people who are positive your circle of influence also has to be important and just focusing on things that can increase your faith in the most high number five 
improve on your relationship with the Most High. You know, many times when people hear somebody speak about the Most High God, they think of it as just a religion, not a relationship. But focus on your relationship with the Most High. The Most High places opportunities for you to come to Him and seek Him and speak with Him about your daily problems and your daily issues. And even just giving gratitude to the Most High for giving you the opportunity to see another day an opportunity for you to seek him and just thank him for what he has done for you in your life just the mere aspect of you being alive and seeing another day is far much important than what goes on in this daily life just understanding that you may live in a country that isn't going through war but another country is going through war so just Speaking to the Most High about that and understanding that the Most High protects you. And in order for you to be strong and well equipped in your faith, trust in the Most High, build a relationship with Him. Because the Most High will protect you and deliver you if you're focused on the relationship with Him. Sometimes we focus on the relationship with other people. And when you focus on the relationship with man, there can be errors due to the fact that People make mistakes. People are guided by different entities, different energies. Um, people are guided by evil. And people are guided by things that are of the most high. So when you try to involve yourself with people who aren't guided by the most high and guided by his righteousness, you will have discrepancies there where people may do negative things towards you. But... If you put your faith in the Most High and you speak to the Most High about your problems instead of speaking to people about your problems, the issues will be resolved. Sometimes when you speak to people about your problems, people tend to tell your problems to other people. People tend to laugh behind the scenes. People tend to do things that you trusted these people not to do, but, you know, it's just human error and when people are guided by other entities, you have these issues. So put your faith in the Most High. Trust your relationship in the Most High. Build a relationship with the Most High because you still can build a relationship with the Most High in this day and age. And understand that your relationship with the Most High can increase your faith. And all these five qualities of increasing your faith can help you to navigate this world in the different spectrums and things that go on in this world. Once you have your faith increase, it helps you to navigate with a different sense of understanding and also helps you to help others who are lost in the faith and others who aren't on that path to righteousness as yet. It helps you to show them and lead them and help them and be the example for other people to follow you. So I want to thank you guys for watching today. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Peace.